Welcome to Many a Day. We're showing you our colonial dollhouse that we had to actually um, fix up and um, got it through a consignment shop. And so these are just some of the photos before and after. Someone had suggested that with my Victorian house and I thought a great idea to show you. It has some damage inside, a little bit of water damage and it was crooked and it was missing part of the banister. And we had to do a lot of work to uh, make it look good. Repaint, re um, clean shingles, re-shingle. Here's a peek inside the house as we finished it. And we're going to walk you through in a minute uh, some of the things we've done. But I just wanted to give you a before and after look. Hope you enjoy. Welcome to our Many a Day website um, showing our videos of we, we make things that are miniature. Also show completed projects, projects that we're currently working on and as you if you watch our site you'll notice we have a variety of houses and wonderful challenges it keeps life interesting this particular house um, was acquired from a, a consignment shop it was not in the best shape it was dirty Sh shingles were missing um, it needed painting and it needed a lot of repairs and so we've cleaned all the shingles and then restained them and then painted the whole house and the shutters and the door and put together the, um, the bottom step. Um, I wanted a window box so created a window box out of basswood and made some polymer clay flowers with some moss and you can see there are window boxes all across. So we have five and put flowers that family members love uh, just to kind of uh, acknowledge because again these houses are built and redesigned for our grandchildren. Painted the whole house. Of course I had to add American flag because we we're very patriotic. And a little pot with some flowers in it. And a doorknob. And we added, uh, I got a lot, um, built, bid on a lot of um, light fixtures that were broken. Repaired this one and could not wire it, but we decided it would make a nice colonial look to the house. Now the exciting part, what do you do to get inside? Do you pick up the house and move it? Put it on an, um, something that moves or use a turntable. And as you can see, this moves very nicely. I'm going to get in the picture here, I apologize. I'm going to show you the turntable. This is an electrified turntable. So what it, it comes with a wood base, it has a metal turntable in here and has a wood top to it. There's a hole where all the wires go. We did not wire this house, so we just taped them up. I also put, you can see underneath, a piece of cardboard. Sometimes I'll put a quilt piece, sometimes um, felt, whatever, flannel, whatever I have to protect my tabletop. Then we'll start at the top of the house and go down. We added wallpaper. Uh, it had wallpaper had to steam it, clean it, prime the walls, and then put it in. So in the upper left, I created a sewing room. And you'll notice this paper. This is actually scrapbook paper. I liked the idea of uh, the effect it had. Um, so it made it feel more like the old-fashioned ceilings. Dormers are not easy to do. You have to create a triangle on a, um, a pa make a pattern, and then do your wallpaper. Um, the floor, I just cleaned it up, but I've got a little sewing machine. Um, this clock I made from Jules and with a craft club. If you ever want to learn how to do that, message me and I'll, I'll do a video on it. A little knitted basket. Of course, you have to have a desk. still have to make a chair for that. I have rugs that I'll show you in another photo how I made those. This is a dress that a lady in her 80s actually crochets and I just value her uh, her talent, her time and the fact that she can do something like that it makes me very motivated. Of course we have the bathroom and sink has a soap dish and I'll, do, I'll show you some photos close up. You can see that. I have to have a dog in his bed. This was purchased. And the crib and this is a crocheted afghan I made. Um, Here's a little bear. He's actually crocheted yarn. I'm going to show it here. 
just fun. Bought this. It's a box with a little doll, a drawer, and a teddy, and a star. And you've got a lamp in the back. Now we'll go down to the second floor, the master bedroom. Um, some things, um, this was a rug that someone gave me. I cro crocheted this. This quilt a friend made for me. The lace you see in the windows here is actually from a wedding. Leftover lace from one of our daughter-in-law's wedding. So I made pillow tops and uh, curtains. And um, just a lot of fun stuff. So move along into this room. And it's the fun playroom. So we have a lot of things that relate to our grandchildren. And I got a little miniature dollhouse that opens up and a croquet set, a desk, um, a book stand in the back, and I've taken the artwork of the grandchildren and um, shrank it down, reduced it to make little books to represent their artwork. And this, I think, is so much fun. This is a doll from Prussia that I ordered in a, um, through a, a website. And this is a chair her daughter-in-law's sister created on her 3D printer. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. And it's just perfect for this little girl to sit. Some of you know how to do this. And I'll show you a picture in detail, but this is a Monopoly set, all out of paper. Thought that was a lot of fun. Just so many things that you can do. Um, like to take a lot of our artwork and put it in there. Coming downstairs into the living dining area. Um, this is a crest. It's actually our family crest. I put that on our son's costume when he was in high school in the Madrigals. And so I made a smaller replica of it so we could put it on the wall to remind us. And I have just some things I've purchased. Most of the things I have gotten, I have gotten through bids on auctions, and then I've cleaned them up. And um, most of the items in here are purchased, except for the curtains that were made, the afghan, and this is a little crocheted tablecloth. Um, represent our dog. And then in the kitchen, turn it just a little bit. Tried to make the whole thing a checkered pattern. The flooring downstairs is from Greece. And this is polymer clay bread. This Coke bottle is actually an artificial tears um, bottle. I'll put it here for a minute. And created a Coke bottle with ink. It was very easy and a lot of fun. And just cake, polymer clay, and food. Just fun things. I'm going to turn this just a little bit to the right so maybe you can see some more. Just cleaned up some of the items. Some are new, some are old, some are handmade, and that makes it fun. We just, a little history for the family, but also just fun and helps with the imagination. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, send me comments, send me suggestions of what you'd like to see in another video. And I hope you have a great day. Remember, many a day.